floodwaters from Harvey recede. The stories of heroes emerge. One doctor from Clear Lake Regional Medical Center will now be known as the surgeon who paddled <laughs> to the hospital to help a patient. Oh boy. Thanks to that canoe, too. Health reporter Haley Hernandez with the story. I know he had some help besides just the canoe, Haley. Of course he did. <laughs> a lot of things went into effect to get him there. First responders, a canoe, a hospital. There were a lot of forces at work to help a teenage boy get the emergency operation he needed during Hurricane Harvey. Even though flooded streets, currents, and a long distance were standing between him and the surgeon. At the height of Harvey, Dr. Stephen Kimmel from Clear Lake Regional Medical Center agreed to operate on a patient before realizing he could not get to the hospital. thought I wouldn't be any help to anyone if I uh, got stuck. With the clock ticking, the hospital called his nearby fire department for rescue. That's when volunteer first responders Kevin McEwen and William Zeke came knocking at the door. Uh, I told them, I was like, we're going to have to run a little bit, Doc. And run they did, from Dr. Kimmel's house to the Dickinson Fire Department, where they grabbed a canoe. Threw it on the back, grabbed the paddles, uh, strapped it down, uh, and like, okay, let's go. They paddled up the feeder to Bay Area Boulevard right into the hospital. If you're counting, that totals a about 12 miles. So we paddled up the feeder, but it was a little, little big, quite a current actually. So we had to get out and pull the canoe for a couple times. So it took us about an hour from the time we left the house. To Dr. Kimmel was on a deadline. If he didn't operate on this teenage boy within six hours of feeling symptoms, his condition could have caused permanent damage to his reproductive system. I was the one to tell William and Kevin they got Dr. Kimmel in the OR with just 30 minutes to spare. I, I had no clue it was yeah. that close. I knew there was a time frame that we had to get him in, but I didn't know it was that close. All, all glory to God, honestly it is. We, uh, we couldn't have done it without him. And Dr. Kimmel could not have done it without them. It was right kind of down to the wire in terms of getting the surgery accomplished. All right, wow. Dr. Kimmel says the patient is doing much better. His journey was, the patient's journey was equally terrifying. His ambulance was stuck in floodwaters and he had to wait for another emergency vehicle standing outside in the rain while he was sedated. So what? What? it is amazing all the way around that everybody made it to the hospital, isn't it? <laughs> this pump for the firefighters, <laughs> man. I love those guys. How oh, old are they? Here we go. They are 19, so they're young. Or that's what Dr. Kimmel told me because Dr. Kimmel was more impressed that he was able to keep up with them. You know, I mean, I'm impressed that they did that and their maturity, but Dr. Kimmel was like, how old are you? Because yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just made it 12 miles. <laughs> hey, they did it. Saving. It was Those awesome. Guys. Yeah. Wow. Very All good story. Good Great. job, guys. That was amazing. I love these stories. Oh, so incredible. Yeah,